Hi friends, welcome back to Confia Control System. We Confia Control System are the best solution providers for all industrial automation products. If you are having any doubt, queries or requirement for your application, feel free to contact Confia Control System at any time. We are always there to sort out the problems that are faced by our customer. Today in this video, I am going to explain you about how to maintain a PLC panel box. Because maintaining a PLC panel box is really very important in order to ensure its reliable operations and to prevent the potential failure. So I will be providing you 14 guidelines on how to maintain the PLC panel box. Come let's get into this video. The first tip is safety precautions. So before beginning the maintenance work in a PLC panel box, we have to make sure to follow all the safety precautions that has been provided. For example, disconnecting the power supply of the main PLC panel box and wearing personal protective equipment, PPE equipment uh, based on your application. There are several PPE equipments like helmet, face mask, gloves, safety shoes, earbuds, uh, respiratory mask, etc. So based on your application, how to wear the PPE equipment that is being given as a safety guidelines. The second tip is regular inspection. So periodically you have to schedule a routine inspection to the PLC panel box. So in order to find the visible damage, loose connection or even own out components that is being present in the panel box. So ideally you have to perform this either weekly, monthly, quarterly etc. Based on the usage of your particular panel box and in the environment where it's being placed. So based on these two characters you have to assign the schedule uh, properly in uh, any one of the form bases. The third tip is cleaning. You have to always keep the PLC panel box very clean that is from free from dust, debris and foreign particles. So in order to clean the PLC panel box, you have to use either compressed air or else a soft brush to clean them gently. Mainly you should avoid using water as well as harsh cleansing agent because these things will definitely damage the electronic substance or electronic components that's been present inside the PLC panel box. The fourth tip is tightening the loose connection. So check all the wiring connection as well as the tightening screws to ensure whether they are tight and secure because loose connection may lead to electrical failure so which in turn causes the PLC to behave erratically that is malfunctions of PLC may occur due to loose connections. The fifth tip is verifying the cooling system. If your PLC panel box is having a cooling fan or a ventilation system, make sure they are working properly. And always you have to regularly or periodically clean the fan and make sure they are not obstructed by any object in the front or back. Because if the cooling system fails, then the components will automatically heat up and this may cause malfunctions in the PLC panel box. The sixth tip is verifying the power supply. So always you have to check the power supply's integrity especially during the power surge or during the electrical disturbance because under such situation voltage fluctuations may occur. So you have to make sure the voltage that is entering the PLC panel box should not exceed the specified range or it should not go below the specified range because if the voltage range varies that may cause damage to the components that is being present inside the PLC panel box. The seventh tip is backuping the programs. So periodically you have to backup all the programs as well as the configurations that's been done in the PLC panel box. So doing this will help you restore the system in case of a failure or error or during maintenance work as well as when you're upgrading your mission. So this will help to restore the system back. The eighth tip is software update. So if there are firmware uh, updates or uh, patches available for PLC software, then you have to follow the instructions that's been provided by the manufacturers. So doing so will help to fix the bugs easily and also will improve the performance as well as security of the PLC. The ninth tip is verifying the I.O. connections. So we have to make sure the input output connections to the PLCs are connected properly and are working as per expected. For example, our sensors, activators or even the third party devices that are being connected externally to the PLC. So if their connection is not properly done, then that also may cause malfunctions and will cause a maintenance problem. So we have to make sure initially whether the connections are done properly. 
The tenth tip is inspecting the signal indicators. So you have to verify whether all the status indicators, light and displays on the PLCs are working properly. So if any non-functionality indicators are being found, you have to immediately replace that indicator or light display etc. Because Based on the displays only, we will be able to know whether the output is on or off or even an error occurred or not will be displayed only on the indicators. So, immediately replacements are required in case of any error or damage. The 11th tip is inspecting the circuit breakers as well as the fuses. So, regularly you have to check the circuit breakers and fuses that are being present in the PLC panel box. So, if any damaged or blown out fuses being found, you have to promptly change that uh, fuses or circuit breakers so, so that you can troubleshoot the causes in order to prevent the future issues. The 12th tip is environmental consideration. So, we have to make sure that the PLC panel box is being installed in a safe environment. That environment which is free from dust, heat, humidity, oil and other corrosive substances. Because such circumstance will really affect the PLC panel box. So, when we are installing or placing the panel box, we have to make sure that it is free from the above circumstance. The 13th tip is documentation. So, we have to keep a detailed record of all maintenance activities like inspection, repair and replacement. So, this log will help to track the performance of the PLC panel box over a long period of time. So, with the help of this logbook, if in case an error reoccurs, we can easily rectify the problem within a short period of time. The 14th and the final tip is training and expertise. So, you have to make sure that the person who is going to do maintenance of the PLC panel box should know enough knowledge or know how to handle the uh, products that is being present in the PLC panel box or else if required you can provide a product training to them and in case of complex issues he can get the help or uh, seek the assistance from a professional or outsource engineers regarding the maintenance of the PLC panel box. Also, remember that the specific maintenance procedure may vary depending upon the make and model of the PLC panel box. So, always you have to refer the manufacturer's documentation and guidelines for comprehensive maintenance operations. So, that's all the basic tips for maintaining a PLC panel box. So, if you need any maintenance uh, engineer or any inquiry for your application, please feel free to contact Confia Control System. We, Confia Control System, also we provide the products, industrial automation products with 100% warranty and guarantee to our customers. Thank you. Have a nice day.